So you heard of Star Trails in Prosper, Texas? Well, today I'm going to give you a detailed look at everything this community has to offer. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video where I'll talk a little bit about taxes. We get a lot of questions about what are mud taxes. So we'll go through that. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first one to find out about all the current market conditions here in the North Dallas area, Dallas area, and up here in Prosper, Texas, like Star Trails. My name's AJ and I'm with the Living in Dallas, Texas team. Listen, I went through exactly what most of you were about to go through, moving out of state to Dallas, Texas. Let me tell you, it was the best decision that I ever made. I worked with Levi and Travis to help find a home for my family and I had such a great experience that I ended up joining the Living in Dallas team. Now I made it my personal goal to help people just like you make a smooth move to Dallas, Texas. All right, guys, so here we are, Star Trails today. Beautiful, beautiful subdivision. Like we talk about a lot of times in my videos is that there's a lot of subdivision living out here. So what that means is you're in a master plan community. You got the pools, the tennis courts, the community, the events. We call them golf cart communities because we just cruise around in our golf carts. So if you want to do that too, you can. You just got to come up here to Prosper, Texas, hit these master plan communities. You too can cruise around in a golf cart and live the life. So Star Trails up here, they got a lot of great amenities. So just behind me here is the amenity center. They got three pools. There's a sunning pool, a recreation pool, and a kid's pool. They got two tennis courts. They got miles and miles of hiking and biking trails up here. They have two event party rooms with fireplaces, picnic benches, and television. And tons of activities out here with all this open space. Tons of open space out here. Grass for the kids to come and play on. So a fantastic community. We'll go through a couple different price points today and we'll walk you through some of the houses. There's a lot of building going on out here. We got Highland Homes. Britain Homes, Coventry Homes, and American Legend out here. So it's a very, very, very popular place. This is pretty much in the heart of Prosper. You're just above the 380. PGA Golf Course, just a couple miles away. So home values are really skyrocketing up here with the, you know, the, the coming in of all the new businesses and the PGA Golf Course. They're building the Omni Resort down there by the PGA Golf Course. So. A lot of new development up here. I'll tell you something else that's really cool, guys, is when towns are just coming up, like Prosper, they get kind of the uh, the chain stuff. You know, you get the McDonald's, the Jack in the Boxes, the Chick-fil-A's, the Walmarts. Well, now what we're starting to see is a lot of these boutique type of stores and the non-chain type of restaurants. So this town's growing real fast. We're getting a lot of really great, great amenities and awesome stuff to go. The, Gates of Prosper is just down the street here. So it's a fabulous location right here in Star Trails. Very, very popular. So here we go. We're gonna walk through a couple of different price points. I'll show you guys the amenity center and I'll talk a few things. I'll talk about um, some taxes. So the taxes here in this area, there's no mud tax. We'll get to that at the end of the video, but it's about 2.2 property taxes here, which is on the lower side for uh, up here in the Dallas area. And the HOA is only $100 a month. $100 a month? I don't know, guys, but back in, in California and I know on the, on the East Coast, like HOAs are expensive and you don't get anything. Out here, you get a lot for just a little bit of money. So, all right, guys, here we go. We're going to check out some houses, check out some amenities. All right, guys, here we go. Coming up on our first price point here at Star Trails up in Prosper. This house where we're coming up on is listed at 725 it's 2,325 square feet. Puts the price per square foot at about $312 a square foot. It's a four bedroom, three bath. Pretty high prices, guys. It's getting popular up here in Prosper, you know? So remember, these houses are gonna go for anywhere from 40 to 60 to $80,000 over asking price. So we gotta make sure we save a little bit of money in there, make sure we can get these houses. All right, here's the house right here behind me. It's a really nice house on a great street. Give you guys a little view of the street here. Very, very nice house. A little bit on the smaller side, 
but look at that price per square foot it's getting up there so just remember we can help you make the right deal on these houses but we got to play it strategically and that's what we do here on this team is we got the right formula to make sure you get this house because it is competitive out there so this i want to tell you a little bit about the schools here we got it's prosper isd so isd is independent school district and we got elementary school middle school and high school all within just a couple of miles here and in the fall of this year there will be a brand new elementary school that'll be complete just up the street so you'll be able to take your golf cart to the elementary school right here inside of star trails okay so that's pretty awesome thing that happens here in a lot of these master plan communities especially here in prosper they build elementary schools middle schools and high schools inside of these communities but they're starting out with the elementary school because there seems to be the most demand kind of young families getting started out here so all right guys there's the first price point we're gonna move on hit that second price point and we'll get up to that third price point it's gonna blow your mind what you can get out here all right guys here we go next price point this house we're coming up on is listed at 824,900 it's about 2300 square feet four bedroom three bath puts a price per square foot at about $355 a square foot super high price per square foot but this house is beautiful inside it also has a pool pools will really jack up that price out here in Dallas I know it's not like that in a lot of other areas but out here in Dallas you have a pool their price definitely is gonna go up so here's the house right behind me give you guys a nice look at this house this is a beautiful house on an amazing street now listen you guys are saying that's a lot price per square foot but you got to remember this is a highly highly sought after community up here in prosper texas which is one of the most sought after towns to be in in prosper independent school district which is one of the most highly rated school districts up here in the Dallas area. So you got all these things going for you, which is the reason why this price per square foot is so expensive. Now, you guys, you can have this house. This could be your house, but you gotta give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we will help you get this house. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna move on to the next price point. We're gonna get up in those millions. All right, have a stay tuned. Yeah. coming up on our last price point here. It's not the highest in the neighborhood, but it's pretty up there. It's a beautiful house, guys. You can see the houses get real nice as we get up into this million dollar range. So this house that we're coming up on, it is listed at $1,195,000. It is a four bedroom, five bath. It's 3,840 square feet. Puts that price per square foot at about $311 a square foot. So it's a gorgeous house. Here we go, guys. So you check that thing out. That is a nice, nice house. Now this is on a corner lot. So you're gonna play it, pay a premium for corner lots. You're gonna pay a premium when your backyard looks off into a green space where there's no other houses. So what the builders are doing is they're adding those lot premiums to some of these homes. Now listen, this is listed at 1,195,000. Someone's gonna need to bid a little over on that to probably get this, there's a lot of competition, but that's okay. We play it strategic, we got the formula, we get this done, guys. We are closing houses left and right, finding people their dream homes. So don't be scared when you hear about these prices that are going over. Don't be scared when you hear about, oh, the demand, the demand, when people are bidding on it, it's all good. We got that covered. We're strategic we got the formula we get it done so give us a call shoot us a text send us an email we will help you find that home you can live here right here at star trails up in prosper and you can see all the building that's going on back here right so they're building houses like crazy guys inventory's coming back the builders are catching back up they had a little bit of a slowdown 
you know, they're about a year behind because of the supply chain and COVID and all of the crazy nonsense that happened in the last uh, year and a half, but they're really catching back up. So we're gonna see inventory get a lot better here. Things are coming on the market. I mean, just in the past couple of months, I've seen inventory increase, the homes are increasing. We're getting into the summertime, people are ready to sell their homes. So don't hesitate guys. Don't wait and think there's gonna be a better time. It's not gonna be a better time. It's gonna be more expensive. Interest rates are gonna be higher. Okay, I got a lot of clients that are talking to me about interest rates and they're saying, well, listen, interest rates are coming up. Interest rates are going higher, interest rates are going higher. Listen, it was only two years ago that a 5% was historic low interest rates. So when we see up in the fives, mid fives, that's still a great rate. It's a great rate. Lock that thing in, get yourself a beautiful house up here in Star Trails. All right, guys, stick around. We're gonna do a little recap here. We're gonna talk about some mud taxes and a couple other things. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so we saw the three price points. We saw everything that Star Trails has to offer. I will tell you, driving around the community and looking around, what they've done a really good job of is keeping everything looking a little bit different around here. Sometimes you go into communities and kind of all the houses look very the same, kind of cookie cutter. These houses do not look like that. They have so many different styles. The builders are really mixing it up. So it's got a great neighborhood feel. It's looking more like a neighborhood instead of a kind of planned out community where everything looks the same. We get all these great amenities. So listen, I get a lot of questions about taxes out here, right? Property taxes are high. What's a mud district? So a mud district, MUD, Municipal Utility District. These are typically newer communities that need a little help to get on their feet. So they're typically outside of the city and they don't have the city services yet. So they'll take care of things like the water, the sewer, the storm drain, things like that that the city can't provide yet because they're outside of those city limits. So these are usually funded by investments or grants by the state that are given to these districts and then they're paid back by the taxes that the people pay in the mud district. So yes, they can add some money to your payment, right? They can. But it also creates an opportunity for these builders to create housing for people that they couldn't create because they can't get the sewer services, the drainage, all these things. So the mud districts are important, especially for these newer communities. This particular community is, does not have a mud tax, but other ones do, but you shouldn't let it deter you from getting into a community because what happens is the mud taxes will decrease over time and eventually they'll drop off once the city services then become available in these districts. So they're an important thing to establish communities and get them going and get them on their feet. So the mud could be about $1.40 for every $100 of the taxes. So just an example, you could get a $300,000 house, you could be about three to $4,000 extra per year in taxes, in mud taxes, on top of your property taxes. So it can get a little high, but like I said, it's important guys, we gotta make sure that we can build these houses we need more inventory we need more homes being built so you can have a place to come here and live so don't get scared away by the mud districts but a really important thing is to know where the mud districts are know where the pid districts are know where they aren't and we know that information so reach out to us give us a call shoot us a text send us an email we will inform you what has a mud what doesn't have a mud is it worth the mud we'll put all the taxes for you together We'll help you out with the lender and you can look at your monthly payments. So we'll get it all figured out for you guys and make sure that you're covered in that regard as far as the mud taxes. That's a big question that we get all the time. All right, guys, give us a call. So a text, send us an email. We will help you find this house up here in Prosper at Star Trails. <laughs>